All right, now we have one realm cleared. Uh, we have three choices as per usual. Uh, party has a minus two pal penalty on challenge rolls. Enemies have chaos resist. Nodes have a chance to be afflicted with energy siphon. Uh, quicksand, cacti. Cacti isn't that bad. Cacti is not germination nodes. I got those confused last time. No campsite nodes. I'm going to go with this one. I think uh, contain random caches to aid you is useful. We will see. Two skill points to spend. We could go for a second talent, but... I wouldn't mind learning more skills either. Lightning Shatter. Apply 4 vulnerability to all targets, plus 12 shock if target has shock. And it's channeled. Wow. There's a lot of channeling spells that you can... You can spend a lot of channel, it seems. Deal 9 damage. Trigger shock on target. Discharge effect. Copy the shock stacks to two random adjacent targets after it is triggered. Split Lightning seems really good with Thunder Herald. I think that's the play. We're going kind of Lightning slash Frost, it seems. Let's tighten up our deck a little bit. Ah, those mana charges are suddenly looking less easy to get rid of. Get rid of one of the bad defends. Deal 14 damage, apply 7 vulnerable. Seems quite nice. Opportune moment, though, for, for getting the engine going, I think, is, is very big. Let's get an assassination card. Back kick is good. We need a, we need more straw, though, on Alphonse, for sure. That's a, that's a thing that we are lacking. To the point where I actually think, let's get max card draw, and we'll we'll pick the decks back up in a second here. I think another bear is good. And then two stat points. Hold on. Can I check now? Okay, yeah. We want we want we want to get our int up there. Which will also increase our heals. Okay. So we haven't had a forge yet, but I'm not excited to pick up a curse so early in the events. We're one fate short, so we could do an event, but I know that our event rolls are slightly worse now. No, this was not the event rolls are slightly worse. <laughs> oh, doodle, that is that is very sweet, uh, to be sure. Okay, we're gonna add mana charge back in. But I think energize we don't have the draw engine for. And we have three quick barriers. That might be one too many. Let's go with that. Then over here, we're going to be drawing more, which is going to be helpful. Two clarities. We might be overdoing it with the clarities. I think Wall of Thorns can fall off, and Eye of the Wolf can fall off. Okay. Gold increase, drops one more item, area contains warrior's caches. I think we do this into this, into the boon, into that. Looks reasonable. There's so many curses. I guess we could go like this. Let me miss out on the blessing. Um, what about this one? Area grants one fade on clear. 
Okay, let's let's do let's do some fights. Feeling like some fighting. Now we draw a card, which. Oh, how did I think? Okay, which which caused us to lose that? I think getting rid of this guy is good for good for business, even though it wasn't one of the ones that was attacking. So you're you're doing front, and you're doing front. So this should pick up both of them. Nice. Gains five card critical before attacking if target is bleeded. Gains seven crit for every three speed down. Okay, let's just have it hit harder. I don't think that card is as good as I hoped it was, uh, unfortunately. Then I think we just spend that because it's uh, it's good. Yeah, we just did a monstrous amount of damage. There's the there's the head honcho. Durable takes thirty percent takes thirty percent more stored damage from status effects. Takes fifty percent less damage from other sources. Interesting. Okay, so we don't have a stab here, which is unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to discard our parry. I think I'm also going to discard our feint. And I'm going to improvise. How do we just redraw parry? That's whack. Uh, where are all my stabs at? I guess we draw them, drew them all first turn. Okay. Protect Alphonse. Didn't protect ourselves, though, very well, did we? So we have Lightning Herald, but we're a little light on lightning damage at the moment. Uh, this doesn't quite get the kill, does it? That seemed to add a bunch uh, still. I think I can... Hold on, where, what are you doing? Pack leader, okay. So let's get our channeling up. I think the pack leader's pretty not scary once we get everything else set here. So let's draw a card. That takes opportune moment there. So... <laughs> Straight to Pokemon. I see how it is. Alright, that was a good turn for Alphonse. Uh... All of our folks are full healing, which is great. So I guess we'll just keep our keep our bear happy, although that is uh, unnecessary. That being free is pretty sick, though. Yeah, that was that was quite the kill there. Hundred and three chill. Ooh. Pierre is spicy. Pierre is a spicy boy. Ooh. 
Move you back like that. Clarity off that. Shift forward one. Observe Stabinate. Nobody needs the heal. Yeah, it seems like that's a... Seems like that, that card is only for the given combat, which I guess is still good, but... Attack of Opportunity. Ally in the same row. I think we could probably make that work. The Omen Bringer grants Fade to Shadows plus one dexterity. If in stealth on turn start, gain four critical. Start battle with one agility. Move to any cell in the back row. Draw one card. I think we take that for sure, right? <laughs> we spicy. We spicy. Okay, so we don't get... Let's, let's master a card here. What does Thunder Herald master to? Does not count towards max card draw. That seems quite good. Getting more cards in hand is good. And this card is very nice, because once it gets in our hand, it just sticks there and uh, ruins people. Okay, now let's get our decks back. We'll do that when we do the level up. And then over here, I think just another card. Even though we've had some, some, some mixed luck with our animals. Next time you summon a spirit wolf, add one more spirit wolf cards to the discard pile. So this, this still doesn't help us that much. I'm just going to take a respect point. I think those were those were all pretty mediocre options. Uh, I am also going to... Oh, we can actually... Well, we could take something else better. Because I, I think that positive reinforcement is meh. And I think herd is better. Now over here... This deck was working a lot better in this incarnation. I kind of like stealth attack to be... To become not a thing. We are going to be picking that up. That face shield up, which is fade to shadows, which lets us move back. Does that change anything? We can discard it with clarity. The deck is just too fat. Okay, so that needs to go. I think parry needs to go. That looks pretty good. And then over here, I think we gotta we gotta keep these decks. Then grants one fade on clear, affected by burning ground. Okay, I think we can do this. Just two elites. Famous last words. Famous last words. Okay. Avenger grows in power when an ally is killed. And mudslide. Move all enemies to the front row. Potent. So someone's going to end up in this slot here. So I guess we shouldn't we shouldn't be too worried about uh, that because it's going to happen. Okay, maybe it's not going to happen, but... So, apply five blind. I think that's... Alright, that's fine. Let's grab that to make Ice Nova cheap. So if I move, I can't, which I can't do. I was like, if I move, I cannot move. Moving is not a thing. I don't know why I put them there. 
That was, uh, that was foolish. Oh, because they were going to teleport there, obviously. I am a genius. <laughs> okay, so you just need to move. Let's use stealth attack before we do that, though. You're roasted at this point. Good enough. All right. Nice. That went way better than I expected. Int based challenges. I think we already have one of those. But I think the strength based challenges are a bit of a waste. Uh, this was the attack of opportunity. Has nothing else on it. Do I want an attack of opportunity in anyone's deck? Maybe Ida's. There we go. Should have done that a while ago. Now, unfortunately, we have an event, which seems like... They seem worse rather than better. Okay, this one seems very good, though. Uh, you come across a lamp buried in the sand. When you rub it, a jinn materializes. It offers to grant you something of your choosing in exchange for a slight inconvenience. Jinns are known to be mercurial creatures at best, and you ponder the wisdom of taking the devil's bargain. Gain a skill point. Permanently increase intelligence by 1 to 2, or permanently increase HP. I think a skill point is quite strong. Who would who would make most use of it? We haven't laid down our next ones, unfortunately. That's This is a reason to do that. Um, let's try it out. Okay, performs the incantation. Didn't seem to have a negative that came along with it. Well, that almost makes me more nervous. Uh, let's get another evocation card. Another Thunder Herald. Is there a point where you have too many Thunder Heralds? I guess we should find out, right? We made the other one lightweight, so they, they don't count against us. So we could come over here, grab that into the waypoint, into a merchant. We, we have decent gold. Let's, uh, oh, no, we can't do that. I was incorrect. This, this line does not come out of this box. Today we learned. Uh, so yeah, so we're locked into going to this event, which I would not have wanted. Uh, trigger an encounter or gain one fate. Let's trigger an encounter, I guess. Gaining one fate would have been really nice, but... And this seems like it's going to be strictly bad. Uh, you're getting zapped. Any chance Ida has what it takes to taunt up does look like it okay so you have an agility that you started out with which makes fade to shadows free but fade to shadows does not grant stealth which is interesting so you're mudsliding and you're firebombing is the ordering right on that you're going last so you're firebombing nobody Oh, you're creating a trap cell there, aren't you? Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's move you. We'll fade to shadows here. Swift strike. I guess move back. I don't know if that makes sense. There's no value in not moving here, and then... Okay, so that was pretty good. Don't have any more actions. Yeah, so I, I don't know how these two are going to get shuffled up, but... I expect it's not going to be great. Um... <laughs> Okay, so split lightning. 
I think is going to do damage and transfer over. Yes, okay, but it, it does remove it from here. That's interesting. Okay, everybody took damage because apparently the firebomb does that. Cool, cool. Okay, we clarity, we get rid of observe. We shift back. We hidden blade. We do that. We improvise, and then I wish I could just hold turn, but I guess I just get rid of them. You're doing ignite, but I think we're going to get the kill there. I guess we move, though. Let's heal somebody. Okay. All right, that seemed pretty good. I think we are figuring something out with Pierre, although I will say that I think the... We, we, we don't have quite the right setup. How many heals do you have? You have all the heals? All right. Uh, let us... We'll do that, and then... Now, does Attack of Opportunity, I wonder if it triggers off of the bear's attack. Well, we're not going to find out, because I'm not going to... I'm not going to take a hit just to learn. Uh... Okay. Looks good. Ooh. The... Eclectic. Grants Forked Thought plus two to intelligence-based challenges, plus one strength if dexterity is higher than intelligence, plus one dexterity if intelligence is higher than strength. Forked Thought. Draw two, keep one, discard the others. Okay, so it's like a... That's that's very interesting. I think this... I think this works well here. Uh, let's do our level ups. I think more max HP is not to be snoozed on. And then we'll do a stat point. Is there anything else I want here? No, I want the I want the assassination card for our first swift kill. That seems good. And then we'll probably master swift kill to start getting it going. Twenty-five percent increased value, damage value scaling. Fifty percent reduced status. No, I think we. I think we do status focused because we want we want to be able to use it, but we want it to yield positive results. Let's grab the skill mastery here, which now we can master a bear, which feels good. Bears don't get stronger, though. That's the only problem. What happens to this one? Skill is no longer limited. Limited is... Oh, yeah, let's do let's do this. Condition Reinforcer seems very strong, so I think being able to use it more frequently is only good for us. Solnic Beasts attack one additional time. We know that Wild Cunning is very good. Good enough that we take it. So, 
if we take a curse, we get, we'd have to take two curses to get to the market. That seems ill-advised. I think we go this way, and then this way, and then this way, and then we get a curse. But we get some blessings, we pick up some supplies, and then we do the Beholder. And we hope that the Beholder is like the last Beholder that we fought, uh, which is to say, doesn't murder us. Uh, okay, so you're attacking back. I can probably put something behind. Yeah, I can put something behind with Ida. A little enfeeble action. Can you do anything from here? <laughs> I, I hesitate to ask, but I think the answer is no. Uh, yeah, that's a bad... That's a bad start. Uh, that was probably ill-advised. So you're attacking, you're attacking correctly now. Uh, get some taunt up, because I think that will be beneficial. So I think the hope right now is that we just have a turn where Pierre, Pierre really goes off, because right now these rocks are super in the way. Oh, we're going to know if Pierre goes off real fast. We can move to here. Yeah, I think we move to here. We mana charge to enable glacial spikes. Fire that off. And then split lightning you to transfer that around. And then guard up. That was a very, that was a very strong turn, I think, for Pierre. Okay, so... Shift forward. Muddy. Moving into the cell costs twice the AP. Got it. Good. Okay. We'll draw one card and discard one. I don't think we're getting any kills here. I'm going to do that so that I can improvise to get the AP. And then... Do that. We get the kill. We can discard Fade to Shadows. I guess it doesn't help us that much. Let's draw another card. How do I get back to shift again? I feel like I just had shift. You're attacking me here? Alright, we're gonna... put some work in on you. Because you're attacking back? Alright, we can... We can work around that. We also have a bunch of these, so... Let's just do that. Okay. Wolf didn't get to attack, which is okay. Uh, it's still going to take the hit from the scorpion. Totally fine. These muddy patches aren't that bad. Oh, Doodle, how did I miss that message? Your niece said you're cringe? Your niece is, uh, your niece is mad. You are not cringe. Okay, and then we mana charge, which makes Ice Nova free. I really, Pierre is cool. I really like the ice build. Uh, but I think we're we're moving towards lightning is the uh, is my suspicion. Plus two dexterity based challenges gain one guard when moving back. Plus four initiative. We can put it on someone. I think it's uh not that useful. So 
So am I going, I guess I should go this way because I can pick up, well, it's very similar and getting a little bit of initiative I think is good. So let's do that over there. Uh, and then here. I think these opportune moments are just really good. If we can get our card draw up, I think they're going to be insane. Let's grab an animal kinship card, see what we can pick up. None of these are very good. We, we have a conditioned reinforcer that's no longer doing this. I guess naturalist could be could be strong, but I, I think I might immediately remove it from the deck. Can we get rid of the guards? And then, yeah, I don't think... I don't think Naturalist has a play for us. Do I want an event or do I want an elite fight? Let's do the elite fight. It's a lot of baddies, but I think we might be able to make it happen. So we draw two cards, we keep one. Let's grab that one. Okay, so at the moment, I'm generating, like, a lot of energy. Uh, gosh, everybody's just attacking, aren't they? Yeah. Let's move you back. I didn't check to see. Okay, Ida does have uh, does have summons, so this shouldn't be too bad. Uh, we have conditioned reinforcer too, so I think we can just do that. Yep. I have invalidated everybody's stuff. Move her back like this. All right, and I think I think we're, we're slow rolling on Pierre because of positioning issues. I think, but okay, we got the big boy, Elemental Protection, Reality Warp. On round start, we're gonna get teleported. I think. Yep. Yes, exactly that. I think we can observe to get a big like that. And I think this stealth attack, I was gonna say, might just might just kill. Ooh. Didn't expect to run out of AP there, actually. Uh funnily enough. Let's see. Bear, bear, nobody, Pierre. Let's, uh, let's do that. That's in a ch that's in a square, which feels good. Oh, the attack of opportunity fires off. Uh, Unfortunately, the one that has the shock is up there, and I can't really get to them for split lightning. Well, maybe that's probably worth it, right? I think so. Yep. 
Ida is taking some damage on her next turn, but... That's awkward. Uh... <laughs> I think I'm going to discard shift. Then we'll improvise, which should... That only does one of the two. Interesting. Well, we can We can heal it up. Ain't no thing. Uh, if I move to here, I get a bear in uh, in line. I can draw one. There we go. Fully healed. Nice. And all our bears are attacking. What more can could one want? So if I do this, I can cast that. Ooh. Beautiful. All right, I think I think we're starting to get onto something. The party is coming together a little bit. AP increased, seven percent increased intelligence. Very interesting. Plus one spell attack damage. Plus one strength. It's got to be the AP. Who needs it most? I think we have so much AP generation here. I'm, I'm removing the, the clarities because we're discarding cards is hurting us. Uh, I think... I think we go with Pierre on this one. Uh, you are as I am as surprised as you are, maybe? Is that, is that the direction I was going with that one? Let's see. How does this fit in? This does not fit in well. Uh, we could immediately get a tier 2 talent, though. Yeah, this isn't that bad. This is Pierre we're doing right now? Yeah. So we could do wand proficiency. Not that interesting because our wand doesn't have anything on it. When you use fire, cold, or lightning spell for the first time every turn, gain critical equal to your intelligence modifier. So you gain six crit on our first attack there. Let's go with adaptive strategy to see if we can get the uh, the heralds in our deck. That's an that's an interesting play. I don't know if that's a good play. I think agility is good for us. Hmm. Let's get a mastery here. Let's try the 35% chance of an AP. It means that we get our bears out faster. I don't know if that's necessarily worth it. Okay, and now we have weapons caches. Okay, so you're attacking back. Wide swing, wide swing. So I think, I think we put that out, but that doesn't protect Alphonse. Let's draw one, just see what we come up with. Now, are these guys, yeah, okay, everybody else is. So let's block up, and then I think we can move her back, because we're probably going to move Alphonse down. 
Oh, this isn't a wide cone, isn't it? Takes 30% less, less damage from those attacks. Um, this is looking like it's going to be a bad turn for us, I think. Uh... was not not enough uh, action oh so I would click this to redraw I got one Thunder Herald I don't think I should be too greedy I think I move to here though I because I think killing this guy is is more important uh He's not dead. It looks like he's dead. He's not dead. Uh, he is dead. Okay, the, the math on that one seemed weird. Oh, I didn't realize that was a wide swing. Uh, unfortunate. Well, we have the heals. That was to pick up the uh, the item. Okay. Bears are getting hit, but that's about it. Which one of these cards do I want? I'll take the Swift Strike. Can't fork thought twice in a turn. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's any point in improvising. And we are out of those, so I'll, I'll just hang on to them. Okay, we got all our Thunder Heralds going. Zapia. Now we're struggling to use all our action points on Pierre. Oh, why did that go away? I was just about to move into that square. Okay, apparently you have a time limit on those uh, on those caches. Well, you, you live and you learn, right? Still pretty clean. Now we have no choice but to take this uh, this curse. Area contains difficult terrain. Area contains burning ground. This one's gonna be a nightmare just because of the the structure. I think we'll probably we'll probably go to the wolves. Okay, less healing. Less healing. Uh, extra bleed and unlucky okay we're, we're just doing an encounter here hopefully it's not too uh all right this is this is what we like to see I guess I should I should have moved here so the stab had an extra attack on it uh, but I don't think it's gonna make too big a difference all right 
Predictably so, Alphonse is starting to uh, starting to pop, and we don't have to worry about. That's actually that's nice. Uh, so I don't mind picking up the max HP here. Maybe I should have gone through this way. That was that was probably a a mistake, and we have no respec points. I think I'm going to come in this way. Oh, let's not rank up that, please. Uh, let's rank up Swift Kill. We need to get it to the point where it's uh, it's doing enough damage to secure kills. So we get a tier two, which includes max number of summons. That's huge for us. All right, so I think we're doing this one and then into the shop to spend our money right before the Beholder fight. Okay, you're attacking Ida, you're attacking... So nobody's attacking here, so I feel like... Yeah, let's uh let's go let's go big this turn. That was, this is a very good turn for Pierre. Uh So you're extremely dead. You're dead, you're dead. So it's time to relocate here, I think. Which Fade to Shadows will do that. Is Ida putting down bears? Yes, she is. Okay. It doesn't really matter if we move again, but we might as well do it for reasons. I can't stealth attack, though, because I don't have a way to put something in front of Alphonse if I do that. Well, I guess I can do that. Did not get the action point uh, returned. Uh... But I think Pierre MVP'd this one hard. Yep. Yeah, we we did great work there. So unfortunately, if we want someone to get this, uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have difficulties. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to get it with Pierre since we learned the lesson the hard way. Uh, oh, any mythical creature. Uh, hmm. That is an interesting question. I think the Minotaur is pretty cool. So we do that to gain the crit, gain a bit more crit. Our crit is through the roof. Uh, I need an attack that will actually benefit. Nope, we're not getting one. All right. The Minotaur was kind of like a tortured type of character though. So I'm not sure that's a very wise uh, Wise selection. Everybody's full hit points. Uh, we can do that just so that the bear gets an attack. Mm. 
Not that it matters, but. Oh, here, I did not realize we had more, uh, more animals on the way. Okay, you're pack leadering, you're attacking there, you're attacking there. It's two, two frontward facing attacks, which is no big deal. Uh, spread the chain lightning around. Hit everybody with some ice. And then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna finish that one off. That gains us an AP. Unfortunately, I don't really want to uh, go to the back row right now. Char removes all charges on all units. Oh, interesting. Actually, I should probably just put this one here so we're getting the damage in. Because that one, you're you're extremely dead. And I think when this bear attacks, Ida joins in. I want to check that out, though. Yes, she does. Okay, that's cool. Attack of Opportunity seems like a good thing to pick up on Ida. I really thought that was definitely the kill. Uh, hey, Shen, how's it going? Thanks for checking in earlier. I, uh, I appreciate it. Crab's Oak Wand. Start of battle, gain three crit. Has arcane push. Push and vulnerable. I don't think that's better than what we have right now. Lesser Strength Rune is not good. I'm going to take the Magic Dust, but that was kind of a bust. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to spend some of that as we go into the uh, the next area. But what was my plan here? I think I was going to come in this way. So I guess I just grab a stat node. Or excuse me, a, uh, a level up node. Let's get this bear as beefy as bears can be. Tier 2 node. Start of battle in stealth. Stealth activate activates bonus effects on certain skills. On end of turn, retain 50% of crit. That's interesting. We don't have enough weapons for anyone to be dual wielding anything. Let's try From Shadows. Even though we're not like a stealth heavy build, I think there might be some. There might be some value there. Let's see. So we picked up this, and then we can kind of go through this way. I think this is reasonable. It becomes 26. This one, this one when it goes off is just so huge. We should probably master it when we get an opportunity. All right. Let's go to the merchant. We, we can spend a bunch of money for sure. Lord's Command. So wait, so we can actually buy these one of these uh, legendaries, which is why I've been saving up the fate. I think this is big. Plus three max HP, plus one rank to all innate cards in your hand on battle start. Oh, that would be a uh, delicious Shen, I am sure. Uh, Death's Parade grants shift plus one strength if you're affected by a bleed every turn you, you are affected by bleed every turn while blood you have a 30% chance to avoid receiving elemental ailments or Snow Skull grants ice shield which we know we can cast on anyone hmm none of those seem as impactful as I think I was hoping they would. I do think we should buy one of them, though. 
Death, Death's Parade is interesting, but Strength is not a stat we care about. I think Snow Skull is pretty good here. So we'll pick up that. We also can, we could gamble if we wanted to, but we're short one token. And there was a token for sale, but it was insanely expensive. We can, can I see the map for a second here? We just gained supplies. So we should, while we're here, we should max out our supplies for sure. Now, another hidden blade does not really excite me. But it is the better weapon, so maybe we void stone it. No. Let's view equipped gear. So you have these, which are not that great, but they are buffing your javelins. And these low level items are all pretty much a bust, I think, unfortunately. Um. Spear is better than nothing, but I don't think it affects Javelin. We'll pick up the Dark Scarf. Grants an Agility, grants a, ch a Channel Charge, I think, is actually pretty good here. Let's pick up two of those. We'll put them on gear, assuming we have any. So what we can sell, we can sell this for four. And I think that's pretty much it. I don't think we need an unstable artifact. Yeah, I think we save. We save here for this. Uh, portal scroll. I think we do pick up. And then I'm going to pick up. I'm going to pick up three of these big health pots just to see if they we can... Uh, Keep ourselves alive. What a what a novel concept. Okay, so we're putting that there. And then we can put a focus rune here. Unfortunately, we don't have a second blue slot. Now over here, I picked up this dagger for you. But I don't think I want another hidden blade. So we're going to void rune that off. And then... You can get the decks there. Heroes Brew. When used in battle, grants three haste. Interesting. All right, I don't think there's much more to do here. So last time we fought the Guardian, it was uh, a whole lot of vulnerable and no badness. Let's see if it's still that way. Still looks the same. <laughs> We're going to do that. We're leaving it all out on the field here. Uh, I don't think the observe is worth it. So I'm just going to do that. Into that. Into that. Hexproof. Gain two immunity on round start. Oh, interesting. That's going to make it hard for our uh, our stuff to function, I reckon. I'm going to move to here. Spend that. He's not attacking anyone, so I don't think there's much value. Of these two... Ah, uh, the ordering was bad there because of immunity reasons. And then the goal is to keep the bears aligned with the beholder. Easier said than done. How does Fade to Shadows not grant stealth? That is, uh, that is a mystery to me. So, okay, so we can, we can shift. But then we, if we fade to shadows, we lose the the stabbing opportunity. 
Uh, we did pick up the attack of opportunity. Oh, we never had stun before. Uh, did not see that one coming. Interesting. To disarm. All right, I think we will move out of the way of that one. Uh, I think just two stabs here is fine. Now, does stun actually prevent actions? Yeah, it does. Stun's pretty bad. Losing, uh, losing two turns was, uh, problematic. Nobody would have thought that, though, right? Oh, you're actually attacking. No, that's just vulnerable and exposed again. Does Ida have... A turn? Yeah, okay, and her hand is extremely full, so we can, I think we can safely, uh... Uh, observe, I think, is a waste. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. Uh... Okay, so if nothing else, I guess you draw cards... While, uh, while you are stunned. <laughs> um. Okay, it doesn't have immunity, so let's, let's light it up. Oh, I can't ice thorns, because that's a, that's a buff. We don't want to do that, because we don't want to remove the stacks that we're creating. Okay, so more bear seems good for business. Why are you not attacking? Because you're disarmed. Got it. I'll move to here so that the attack of opportunity goes off because I don't think, yeah, we haven't used it yet. I just feel like one of these turns, the Beholder's just going to be like, oh yeah, there it is. That might be the one. Uh, optic Beam. Deal 36 damage, grouped. Uh, and it looks like it does not have a target because of uh, dodge. That's kind of, kind of very lucky for us. Should make sure that we don't do anything to jeopardize that. <sighs> Okay, yeah, still, still no valid targets there, so I think we're okay. Yep, taunt hard countered the uh, the beholder here for sure. Uh, I guess we can draw a card. Yeah, that's better. Get something, get something going here, because somehow it cleared all of its uh, all of its stuff. Couldn't get the wolf into the row to also hit. And the back bear is too far back uh, to be able to use it, to utilize it. But I think we got this one in the bank. Got this one in the bag, not the bank. Uh... That's all she wrote. 
I feel like when the beholder goes wrong, it goes very, very wrong. But uh, that was good. All right, so select a boon. Double value of gold to pick ups along the route. Gain 250 gold and five supplies. A random hero gains one skill point. I want the skill point, I think. 